Howdy folks! Hey guys, welcome to Inspire to Cook. One of my childhood best memories is eating that homemade jam that my mom used to make. She used to make this delicious apricot jam and she did a whole process, a very long process, but it came out to the best flavor you've ever tasted. Well, today I'm gonna show you a super easy yet very delicious variation of jam. You can do it at home in just minutes. The berries that I'm gonna use is strawberries and blackberries. You can use any berries and an equal proportion of sugar. I'm gonna use about 250 grams of berries and 250 grams of sugar. Let's do it. So we're gonna chop up the berries first into small cubes by cutting in half first, getting rid of the greenery. Then I'm gonna make two cuts this way, long side and uh, chop it up just like you would chop the onion or anything else and blackberries you can cut into about four or six pieces just like that in half i'll make three pieces out of each half look at this berries don't they look beautiful we're gonna dump it up they're all cut up and ready and we're gonna cover it with 250 grams of sugar or the same proportion of sugar and we're gonna pop it in the microwave five minutes for the sugar to dissolve this is how it's gonna look after five minutes you see that the sugar is completely dissolved and the berries let the juice out looks beautiful and smells mm, just amazing we're gonna give it a good stir and pop it back into a microwave for additional 13 minutes well after about 10 to 13 minutes in the microwave this is how it's gonna look like and a very important tip, you really want to make sure you're using a very oversized bowl, very tall and very wide, as the size of the jam will actually multiply into five times or so as it bubbles up when it's microwaved. If you're not sure if the consistency is right, you can grab a little bit of jam and put it into a plate that's been in the freezer for about 12 minutes. I actually put the plate in the freezer right before I put my jam into the microwave the last time. And we're going to put it in the freezer for about two minutes and we're going to check the consistency when we take it out. Two minutes has passed and I'm gonna put my fork through it and you see the consistency doesn't run back together. It's pretty thick. Mm. And since our consistency is good, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it into our jar, mason jar, before it chills off. There you go. So we put it in the freezer and it's ready to serve whenever you are. But my best part is trying it when it's nice, fresh and hot. Mm, so delicious, you guys. You can put it on the white toast. As my babushka like to do it, put a little layer of butter and then put some jam on it. Mmm, beautiful. When you eat it all with a cup of milk, mmm, it really exceeds my expectations, you guys. This flavor really blows up my mind. I can't get enough of it. Try it at home, share it with your friends. Let me know which flavor combination you'd like to see next. Do you want me to show you the apricot one that my mom used to make? Do you want to have any other crazy combination? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Howdy, 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 ho! <laughs>